Welcome to Cynthia Speaks. This is Cynthia speaking. This morning, one of my friends called me at 8 a.m. to wake me up because last night we talked about how I needed an alarm clock, otherwise I'd sleep through the afternoon. I had slept at 3 a.m. and an ill-advised cup of coffee from the previous evening was to blame. With exams on the horizon, I felt a restlessness under my skin. I keep having the urge to journal again and I give in too easily. I make pages and pages of art, of which I admit I'm proud of, but then the exam panic settles in and I'm in an even worse state than before. The other day, RM dropped a new mini-album. After the first lesson, I didn't think much of it, but it quickly grew on me last night when my mind was getting too noisy. Maybe I'll even write a review on it. My favorite song so far, it seems, is Soul, which was a collaboration with Han, an artist whom I, all, whom I love as well. The chorus really gets to me. It sounds like something I've felt for a long time, but never had the words to get out. All the time. I've submitted poems and stories to publishing companies and I've gotten either a rejection or silence. I don't know which is worse. Neil Gaiman published his first comic book at 27 years old. Kazuo Ishiguro published A Pale View of the Hills when he was 28. Maybe I have time. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just have what's given to me. I tell myself it's not that bad. I tell myself that what I have to say is important. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Just so